Sergio Ramos has now apparently, according to Sky Sports sources, told Real Madrid that he wants to join Manchester United. And personally, I think this will be a, a fantastic signing if and when now it looks like it is going to, to happen. Manchester United, according to Sky Sports, have bid around 28 something million pounds for the, the centre back. And I think that this will be an absolute fantastic signing for Manchester United. <clears throat> now, admittedly, he is 29 years old, but I still think that we could get two or three really good years out of him. He's up there with the best centre-backs in world football. And you look at the likes of John Terry, who is still going strong. And I think he was 34 last season and played one of the best seasons of his career. So I, th I think this would be an absolute fantastic signing, a real statement of intent from Manchester United that were really going at it with Real Madrid, really pushing them to the wire. There, there's no news yet on the De Gea situation, but if Manchester United can can get Sergio Ramos out of this deal, I mean, uh, David Hare probably still will go, but you, you never know now. I mean, if, if he's made to see out his last, last year of his contract, then then um, he's going to have to, to play well because uh, the Euros are coming up next summer. So he's gonna gonna want to play ahead of uh, uh, Casillas for the the Spanish national team, and at this moment in time he's still only playing the friendly games. He's not in the he hasn't I don't think he's featured in any of the competitive games yet. Uh, Casillas has still got the number one in them games. So at this moment in time, if he doesn't perform well for Manchester United, then he probably won't be the the starting man in that summer tournament. So he if he does stay and sees out his final year of contract, he will have to put in put an effort in order to make his um, number one spot for Spain. So it's going to be interesting to see there, but really this is a fantastic sign. We really need a real leader at the back. I mean, he's a real, he's one of them players that you really do not want to play against. If you're an opposition uh, team, you really don't want to come up against Sergio Ramos. As I said, probably up there with the, there's probably only two, a couple of other centre-backs in world football that are up there at this moment in time with Sergio Ramos. Vast, vastly experienced. He's won everything at Real Madrid, and he's won everything on the international stage. Played over a hundred caps. I think it's about 128, 129 caps for Spain. So fantastic career, and he's still. Uh, I mean, at 29, he could still have two or three years at, at the top left, and that could really help us this season. If if we do keep De Gea as well, our defence could be really mean. Now, obviously, it looks like he would come in and partner. Probably Chris Smalling at this moment in time, but also we're still being we still have been linked with Otamendi. So whether we get him in him in as well, it, but it does seem that Sergio Ramos is the the number one man that we want this summer, and it looks like we're going to get our man. So we're not just lying down to Real Madrid and and accepting them to have have De Gea. I mean we fought to keep Ronaldo. Unfortunately he did want to go, but we're really fighting this one. I mean, Manchester United can pay Sergio Ramos a hell of a lot more money than he's being offered at Real Madrid. So his head's probably been turned. The, the tables are turning. Manchester United are paying the huge wages more than Real Madrid now. Um, with this, this new sponsorship deal, Adidas deal come in, um, and over 70-odd million a, a season, it, it looks like we're going to be really spending spending some big money on wages. So if, if players do want to want to accept the big the big wages, then then that, this is where it's at. And, and we're, we're definitely going places, bringing in the top the top talent. Now it looks like hopefully some more, if, if this deal can get concluded in the next week or two, if it does, the Morgan Schleidening one will probably get concluded as well. And then we can move on to some other targets because there's, there's obviously still the right back and a few other areas that we do need to work on. But it's a real step in the right direction because our defence did really need sorted. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I'm really excited about this. If if it does come off, a real, really a great signing would, would be probably my um, the best signing we could sign this summer besides a, a Messi or a Ronaldo. So absolutely fantastic signing for Manchester United if it comes off. And uh, Sky Sports are pretty reliable and it seems that, that he, he won't now play for Real Madrid again, which I'm absolutely fucking delighted about if we get one over on Real Madrid. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section box below and I will talk to you all again very, very soon. See ya.